This week is all about friends and memories. Look who we found. Next up, Isla Mujeres. We have our coffee, life is good. <laughs> and I was in a way terrified. You ready to take a bus trip? Oh yes, indeed. It is so nice to be back on beautiful Playa Norte. So grab your board shorts and your coffee cup and let's get to it. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? On the way to the airport, but we're not taking a plane. We gotta go meet Otto. Look who we found. Okay, thanks. That's where we're going, it's right there. On the way. Next up, Isla Mujeres. Hi, we're lazy. We've been in Isla Mujeres for days and we haven't filmed anything. But we did find some great hummus. And of course, a great place to swim. And some more food. And ice cream. We're gonna try and remedy that today. So let's see how we go. Well, look who we found at breakfast. <laughs> We have our coffee, life is good. <laughs> These are homemade jams they make right here. So this homemade jam is mango and coconut. And this one, I thought she said strawberry. I'm not sure, I think it's strawberry and, let's see if your did it. Tell me what it is. This one's pineapple, coconut, and banana. That one is red fruits and mango. Oh. So, raspberry, strawberry. Oh, mango. red fruits. Yeah. So, all sorts of red fruits. Let's go. And they actually have homemade hash browns. I'm so excited. I got tortillas. Otto's got orange juice. So, I was wrong about it. Except for I did say that had coconut in it. <laughs> I like the pineapple and the coconut. That's rare. I know. What do you think, senor? Bon appetit. So the breakfasts at Elements of the Island get a definite thumbs up from everybody. They are absolutely fantastic. As you can tell by the lack of conversation in my, uh, <laughs> in my surroundings here. This island is really special and that we keep coming back. And even though it's changing year after year, it's still has a piece of her heart. This was the place where Katie first decided that she could do the international travel thing. It was hard at first, but wow, I am so glad that we did and that it really gave me a love for travel and meeting new people and pushing past my comfort zone of not speaking the language, but a smile goes a long ways. And you've been studying Spanish for a few years now. Yeah, and that so really has helped. <laughs> This is the first place where you went to a grocery store in a foreign country all by yourself. And I had to buy something. And I was in a way terrified. <laughs> I was afraid they'd make fun of me, that I would be, I wouldn't know what the money, yeah, everything scared me. I realized, no, everybody loves to help somebody that's willing to smile and is friendly. And it doesn't matter what language you speak. But you try with Spanish. Oh yes. Yes, yes. You've worked really hard on Spanish and you do your best to speak the local language. Yes. I would say in all foreign places, love it when you try. Even if it's please, thank you, it goes a long way. Our two words that we use again. Thank you, please, and bathroom. Yeah. Our three words. <laughs> it's been amazing. I wouldn't change anything for all the last five years. Yeah, definitely. So for our years on and around Isla Mujeres, we always heard that there used to be a bus and they were trying to get a bus system going. Well, this last year while we were gone, they actually got the bus running. So today we're going to experience it. Well, look well, at this guy. Good afternoon. You ready to take a bus trip? Oh yes, indeed. That bus right there looks ready for us. Yeah. You can pay by the stop or get a pass for 80 pesos to top on, hop off all day long, all along the route. 
So we went with that one, because he's a hopper. We decided to hit the furthest stop first, so we are down at Punta Sur, South Point. trip to Punta Sur is complete without visiting the giant iguana. When you do an Instagram, don't be that person, out of bounds. <laughs> I like it. Well, wow. yeah, yeah. Yes. Punta Sur is the eastern northernmost. See, this is my problem. I can't remember. <laughs> eastern northern. northern. Eastern easternmost east, point. East. 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 Thank you. East. Easternmost point of Punta Sur. <laughs> Punta Sur is the easternmost point in all of Mexico. <laughs> Punta Sur is the easternmost point in all of Mexico. Boom. Oh, Just God. like that. Got it. <laughs> Little known fact: those kill more people than That's sharks. Good. Another little known fact, if there is a sliver of shade, that girl will find it. A minute. Right here. <laughs> Iguana? Oh yeah. It's up there. I love this place. There's so many iguanas. If I got a, a little umbrella and a seat, I'd spend hours here. <laughs> yep, that's me. <laughs> the bus was really comfortable. There's no AC, but the wind was blowing. And when it was moving, it was nice and cool. Way more comfortable than a taxi. Uh, they charge 10 pesos per stop to locals, 20 it seems for tourists. You can get an 80 peso pass and get on and off as much as you want for the whole day. Takes us all the way down to Punta Sur, um, all over through this Colonia. I'm really glad to see the buses running finally. It is. It's so convenient. I way prefer that to a taxi. Don't let the taxis know that though. They'll, they'll ban us or sue us or something. But. Yeah, I think they get a percentage because they don't seem to be mean mugging them as they go past. So. <laughs> <laughs> and they and the guy gets on and has to count all the people and make sure so uh, we'll that's see. true yeah we did get so anyways but that's all business stuff <laughs> doesn't matter it was really enjoyable uh, for the bus service so great addition to Isla Mujeres yes now it's time to go to the water <laughs> It's so nice to be back on beautiful Playa Norte in Isla Mujeres. I can't believe it's been over four years since we lived here. <laughs> right? The beach has changed so much. This used to be all underwater. We've been wandering around the island seeing our old haunts. Poncho, the cat at our first apartment, is still there. 
We've seen our iguanas, which it's so much fun. I could sit there for hours and just watch them play. And the food, well, it's fantastic. Good to see Tugui's ice cream guy still roaming the beach. We heard that they were building underwater, overwater, not underwater. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. I know, but that was a bit funny. I, I still am. We heard they were building overwater bungalows. Thank goodness it was blocked. And this is still pristine. Good to see the tree still standing, but now it says don't climb on it. Coffee. <laughs> Leave the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>